location. Two teams filled with precocious talent. Two teams with a strong alumni backing. And the two teams still wanting a semi-final spot. We're very watching from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining our coverage here on the Home of Champions. I'm Donald Oliver. I'm with Dwight Jeremiah. And this one could be an interesting matchup, Dwight. Very much so. I'm expecting some fireworks here as well because you're coming up against Wilmers, who they are, by stats, the most attacking team um, in this Manning Cup. 62 goals scored in their 12 games so far, averaging four, just over four goals per game. And they're up against the Skinson College team, though, that is not shy themselves. have scored a staggering 50 goals in their 14 games so far. And they have a very good defense. As probably one of the best joint with stats as the best defense in school board football. So an interesting matchup for sure. Attack galore on both teams, but also good defense. This is our Kingston College will line up. David Martins in a goal. Uh, Rajiv Gavin, Scott McLeod, Sajar Blair, and Khalifa Richards, the back line. Lewis Watson, Jamari Morrison, and Demara McCarthy in the middle of the park behind the trio of Ronaldo Robinson, Dwayne Atkinson, and Tyrese Williams. Head coach, Lord Bernard, pensive ahead of this big match. And uh, this is a big challenge for Wilmer's boys. And this is how they line up. Denzel Smith is in goal. In front of him, Roshane Thompson, Dwayne Allen, Ty McKetty, and Christopher Matthews. You see Davian Clark also named in the squad along with Shamor McLean and Jaheem Rose. And Rivaldo Mitchell, Ronaldo Webster, and Javier Lynch complete the 11. Very interesting here to see too. We saw in the Champions Cup on the weekend how Clarendon College dealt with Juan Ronaldo Webster and Rivaldo Mitchell. Whether or not Kingston College would have been watching and would seek to employ such tactics. They didn't man mark them, but every time they got on the ball, there were players close enough to close down and create a double team. So they always double team or triple team those two players. Interesting to see what will happen for them where Kingston College is concerned. And we're off here at the Stadium East Field. Kingston College in their traditional purple and white. And uh, Wilmers in their traditional maroon and white. Early yellow card shown to Sajar Blair for his challenge on Ronaldo Mitchell, and now he has to be careful for well for about 90 minutes. And I suspect he's going to have his hand full as the right back, uh, and he's going to either have Webster or Mitchell to contend with at some point in this game. So Saint Long. have not been so good for Wilmers in this part of the corporate area. Um, when they've come to the national stadium this season, or stadium East, they have given up two goals, 2-2 two -two against Jamaica College here, 
and they won three goals to two against Camperdown National Stadium. So this part of the world, they give up two goals. They have no David Clark in the lineup, Wilmer's boys. So they have decided to go back with Dwayne Allen, who's now playing in the centre back position. Deshaun Bernard is back in the middle of the clock for this Wilmerian team. David Clark recovering from dengue fever. It was a bit of a surprise when he was initially named in the starting lineup. I guess it's wishful thinking for this Wilmer's team. Be sure when you come up against the favourites, you want to have all your best players available. Kingston College looking to pounce here. Jamari Morrison. I guess as the game progresses, he may find his shooting range. That one was way, way off target. And The wind here has pretty much tied down and changed direction. It has, weirdly enough. Crowd has gotten bigger too. Well, that was expected, eh? Favourites do carry some crowd along with the Woolmers. And it is also a buoyant crowd as well. And of course, Camperdown supporters would have remained. They're very much interested in Kingston College. Yeah, and they do have something to look forward to now after their win over Charles Smith. Webster! And that one would have stung the palm of David Martin in goal. Got everything behind it and struck it well. Webster. Lynch won it back. Forced to go wide. Yep, that was pretty much a warning shot. That oh. was pretty much so. And, and we see him a bit more central in this one starting out. Maybe he didn't get much joy in the Champions Cup on the France. That was a clean strike from Webster. A player I, I really admired last season when he was playing for St. Elizabeth Technical. And with the quality players around the league who would have seen what Shaquille Bradford did a little bit earlier in getting a hat-trick. And... Uh, I'm sure that would have lit a fire within him, Ronaldo Webster, who has 16 goals so far this season, so he's not too far behind. He takes the throw himself. He would have started the day one goal behind Bradford. Well, he has some ground to catch up now. Definitely has some. And helping centrally. But knowing him, he's going to roam all over this park. Bernard. 
Mitchell. Not sure who we saw there. Because it was too far in front of Russell. Obviously not a color clash here this afternoon, but with two teams wearing dark tops in this bright sunshine may prove a, a little bit difficult for the teams to pick up on the park. And then both set in the same color shorts as well. one once again. Ball over the top looking for Javier Lynch. Russell can't keep it in play. Both teams probably entering in this encounter not wanting to make a mistake, so I'm not surprised by the cautious start. With the exception of that snapshot from Ronaldo Webster. It's been quite, pretty quiet so far. I guess there's so much at stake. Both yeah. these two teams on three points. Of course, Campanella wouldn't mind if they drew with each other. No, not at all. But they know they have the, most the more difficult task. I guess they would mind... Kingston College going ahead since Wilmers will have Charlie Smith to play against. Kingston College pressing forward and the challenge coming in on Dwayne Atkinson. would have an easy opponent to come up against in Charlie Smith as the Camperdown coming up against favourites in Jamaica College in Kingston College Corner kick what a, well <laughs> it had a swerve on it but uh, it fell short did it There are many different ways that you can read the possibilities in this group. Based on the fact that none of these teams would have guaranteed a, a spot through, it also means that any of these teams can still drop out of contention. Very much the case, so there's a lot still riding on this one. And uh, both these two teams will want to get the advantage going into the last game. They will not want to leave it down to the last game. Some figure that this will be a good test for Kingston College. The installed favourites. Because this Wilmer's team, as I said earlier, the most attacking by way of the stats. And 62 goal score. Averaging just over four goals per game. Webster, a large part of that statistic, trying to get that one inside. And a taste of his own medicine on that occasion. Jamar Morrison trying to play it further up the field. But again, it will be a true test for this 
top attacking team because they're up against by stats the best defensive team in the league joined with stats ball played across with the keeper will collect Lewis Watson. The clash of the number 10s. As uh, Sorry, Morris Morrison ran into uh, Shamor McLean on that occasion. It's going to be one of the easiest call for a referee today. It's clear and obvious. Shamor McLean trying to steal a few yards. Told to go back by the referee. One must build him. That one too high over the goal and another attack comes to nothing from this Wilmers team Watson. Mitchell. Oh my goodness, Mitchell almost got away with it. Bernard pops up the work, gets the free kick, and the Kingston College crowd doesn't like it. Nothing yet on target or shot a goal for Kingston College. Robinson. Challenge on the KC player. Free kick to Kingston College. In an interesting position here, the yellow card is, is shown. Shown to Dwayne Allen. Free kick to Kingston College. And they probably get their first opportunity to strike on goal. Jamar Morrison is behind this. Lewis Watson is also there. The wall being set up by goalkeeper Denzel Smith. Perfectly set up for left foot. It's Watson! Fabulous save! But the result is in! And Kingston College will take the lead! Shoot Dwayne Atkinson yet again! Yet again a brilliant set piece! And Atkinson as usual, the poacher! And he gets his 17th goal this season! It's a beautiful free kick there. To the wall, goalkeeper to get down smartly. 
Um, and didn't parry it well out of danger around the post. And reacting quickest as he normally does is Atkinson. How will Wilmers respond? Mitchell has some work to do, too much work to do. That free kick had so much peace on it. Made it very, very difficult for goalkeeper Denton Smith to parry it around the post. Got a strong hand, strong hand to it. Needed to have shepherded it around the post. And some would say normalcy restored for this Kingston College team. They're growing in confidence, aren't they, Kingston College? And that one has certainly got the drummers going. Oh, yeah. The chance of KC, KC going around the ground. And if, if they win on the weekend, and the Champions Cup was anything to go by. Those drummers, they don't stop once they get started. Much to the annoyance of a few. <laughs> I would say the Wolverines now. Be top of that list. Mitchell. Needs to call with the goods today. So to Bernard. McLean. Played that hurriedly, got it wrong, but his team will still get the throw. Here comes Casey again. Ball delivered, looking for Lynch, who gets the bounce and decides to go for the snap shot. Trust me, it was a shot. <laughs> it goes up for a throw. Show the confidence of the player to be looking to take on a shot from that. Mitchell. What a move. And the ball did cross the line, though Mitchell doesn't agree. But he did superbly well to get away from the defender on that occasion, which was Blair. Hmm. Somebody would have to explain the laws of physics for that one. Here's the corner kick, at the back post. Didn't get enough on that one. It's always back pedaling, so it was always gonna be difficult to generate pace. Bernard holding off his challenger. Ball played through, also flag goes up. Sajar Blair trying to force that one through. Big work on that occasion. Here's Mitchell for Woolman's boys going along this flank. Has support in Lynch. Mitchell Bernard Webster trying to find Lynch. Now here's Sajar Blair. Gave it up. 
was a difficult ball for <laughs> for Mitchell to handle. That was just too much time, McCarthy. That was a suicide ball from McCarthy. Too much pace. Three yards away. The ball traveling at 90 miles per hour. Yeah, almost as if he was trying to catch a shot put there, and it was always going to be difficult to control. And in the particular area of the body, it wasn't going to be easy. It would have created more pain than anything else. Atkinson. Sajar Blair on his overlapping run. Blair. That's a bad looking ball. Robinson. Webster working over time, setting Lynch free. Well, almost. Lynch does really well to win the throw for his team. Good strength shown there by Lynch. He was pretty much on his own, needed to hold up play or try and get past the defender. Did very well with his good upper body strength. And they've given Holmes a chance to restart the game for Dr. Park. So putting in some defensive work there. It's definitely so, but I think Wilmers would prefer to see him going forward attacking. But it's good that in their formation he has to get back and give work down the flanks. Williams trying to get by his marker, does well. And then was a stop to his tracks there. Good work, defensive work there by Thompson. Good firm challenge. Comes across to Atkinson. Couldn't quite capture it. Lewis Watson covering Bernard. Bernard though wins it. Mitchell. Gets the call against Watson. Free kick to Boomer's boys. I really think Watson might have been unlucky there because Looks as if he just stood his ground as a defender. So we asked the referee where else was I supposed to go? Clean delivers, and the clearance is made by Kingston College. Not getting the right support on that occasion. Some more McLean. Go kick to KC. As the scoreline stands now, KC with the lead in this zone by six points and six goals. Bernard, but oh, that's a late challenge. Free kick there given against McCarthy diving in. It's a good push position, this. Rumors <laughs> players pretty much. This one lofted in, headed away, finally cleared out. McLean. Allen. Thompson. Matthews.
he must have been a free kick for sure because had it gone out for a throw-in, it would look like it was for Kingston College, but deemed to have committed a foul. Wilmers with another free kick. Sent long, the keeper calls for it and gathers. Gavin. Williams committing the foul. Free kick to Wilmers. Apart from that early shot from Webster, I haven't seen anything else from Wilmers to threaten this Jamaica College, Kinson College goal. Atkinson plays it wide to Blair. Blair cutting inside, back to Atkinson. Atkinson with the shot and the keeper having to make a brilliant save to his right. And Allen puts it into touch. Good goal keeping there. Not sure if that was going around the post, but he couldn't have been sure. Probably was going wide. Probably just, but... Yeah. Smith just couldn't be sure. Good strong hand to it too, to parry it away from the danger area. And then got good support from his defender. Long throw for KC. Not handled well. And that's a foul coming in. And Khalifa Richards will go into the referee's book for a dangerous play. Just too much force exerted there. Rash challenge. Very, very late. Caught him on the shin. I can't believe me, your boots everywhere. <laughs> Not at all. And you know what can happen with such momentum. A player could fall badly. Injured ankle or wrist or stuff. That's to be applauding the effort. He's one to chase everything. And that's the direction that he would be want to be running most often today. Good win. Lynch pulls it across. A chance. Put behind for a corner. Sajar Blair was in the right place at the right time to avert the danger. It's Blair there bailing out his teammate in Richards who dwelled on it and got caught in possession. And a good ball across the box, just see too much weight on it, running away. Wilmers will try again. Second corner kick. It's a good looking one, but straight to the keeper. Who holds on. A very good take from David Martin there. Safe hands. Matthews, Lynch, Blair, nice run, good pass, Atkinson inside and it's put behind by Shane Thompson. Had to put that one, good recovery run from Shane Thompson, good ball through the half space there from 
Kinson College. Lovely ball out wide there. It's a good interception there from Thompson. Atkinson did well out wide as he tried to get the ball inside the box. It's going to be a corner kick to Kingston College. Can they get another goal in this half? Hmm, cleared by the Romero defense. And again. Nice play by Kingston College. Williams is through. Keep off his line. Williams gets by him and runs out of real estate. People doing enough, apparently. Denzel Smith. Denzel Smith did well before him. Thompson really did well in trying to put him off. Really dived in somewhat. And was bailed out by the goalkeeper, Smith. and has his hands full today. Makati for Woolworths. Webster, haven't seen him for a while. Through the channel, looking for Orlando Russell, who committed the foul. And it did well to try and get his body in front. And have a look here. And it wasn't quite shoulder to shoulder. Still walking a fine line, Sir Darby, having been carded early. Got the call this time. Would have expected Webster or Mitchell to go at him a little bit more. They put Orlando Russell on the left side. Is Kingston College trying to go for the Tyrus Williams and the challenge coming in from the Shane Thompson and he will go into the referee's book. Thompson a little bit too strong during the challenge. When they see about center arts when they leave the middle of the park, they will not allow both man and ball to pass. So both center backs. Thirteen is doing Allen. There's a liver inside, headed away by Thompson. Yeah. Well, not so much away as putting his keeper into some more problems. Had to power it over. And so it looked like it was going to drop right in front of the bar. Had to make sure that it's going over. So living dangerously, two center halves for Wilmers. Third corner kick sent inside, headed away. Williams with a shot. Charge down. One thing we've seen from Kingston College today too, they're not shy of shooting from a distance. Track the goal came from a free kick. 
He's about 20 yards out. And the goalkeeper had to parry in. Atkinson did theirs. Ball played to Lynch. And Lynch going in hard on the goalkeeper. David Martin requiring some attention. Lynch offering a hand of apology. No fairness in that replay. Lynch had to go for it. It was there. I don't think you can blame him for going to challenge for that one. Shown to coach off Wolmers, so Bernard. Not though, uh, Casey, oh, Casey, Casey, oh, Casey right? yes, Casey getting the, the yellow card. And the new rule is that the referee does not have to properly warn the coaches, they can issue, issue yellow or red cards as they see fit. So Coach Bernard also walking the tin line. <laughs> Do the accumulation of yellow cards count for coaches as well? Not that I know of. Certainly so doesn't make a difference, does it? Well, not over time, but maybe for today. Oh, well, right. But Cathy? Robinson. To Williams, Tyrese Williams, couldn't get by Dwayne Allen. seen much of Mitchell in the last five or so minutes and uh, you get the feeling that if Wilmers are to get something out of this game we're going to go on to win it himself and Webster a yellow card enough to cause Ber coach Bernard to have a seat and settle Matthews lost it. Atkinson has it. Atkinson continues his cross. Thompson comes across. Time the challenge well. And he had to remember that he's on a yellow card. Wouldn't want to be late with that challenge. The Wilmers down a goal would not want to go down a man. And if you're challenging Atkinson more often than not, you're late. <laughs> Here's Atkinson sends it across. Was looking for Williams. Not the best clearance. Williams tried to turn but couldn't. And McKitty. Russell. Russell gets in front of Blair. Free kick. Also was a little late, but yes, that was clearly a free kick. Impeded. Russell was very smart with that play. He ran across the line yeah. of the defender. And that's what you want your striker to do because you get in between the ball and the player. Definitely, he knew what he was doing. Just run across the line of Blair. And just his momentum, Blair would automatically take him into the into the player, clipping his heel. Well, it may have come at a cost for Orlando Russell. I think it's nothing that the ice and water, water won't fix. Water exactly. There's a bit of magic spray there as well. Are oh. you sure to get up then? Close encounter in this qualifying round fixture. I expected where Wilmers is concerned. Like I said earlier, twice they've been 
in this vicinity this season and they've given up two goals to Jamaica College early in the group stage when they drew 2-2 and then lost to Camperdown 3-2 just across at the National Stadium. So not good memories for them here, except for the fact that in terms of giving up goals, they will feel like they can still get back into this one. Ronaldo Webster behind this one. Three man wall set up. Looking for the equalizer. It's Webster. Wide. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to get it around the wall. Then back in. Didn't get the right connection on it. We want to use the inside of the foot to wrap around. Always you know, going to be difficult because. The outside player in the wall would, have, would be set just outside the post, so that would be a deterrent. I think it didn't go down well that Williams wanted to have a go at that. Lobster didn't do himself justice. on it, it's unable to keep it in. But Webster has been putting in a shift. He needs other teammates to come to the party. Ullman's believe that if they don't lose this one heavily, they could be still in with a chance even if they were to lose because Charlie Smith is who they have next. Seems down and out. And they would fancy that Jamaica College could take care of Campadon. the fourth official indicating a minimum of two minutes to be added to this half and it has pretty much flown by but he has it talks it across is looking for webster and the play has been called back freaky to him as i think yes yeah. mclean deemed to have been impeded Now, this is some more McLean's territory. Richard seems to have hurt himself in the process of trying to prevent McLean from getting that ball across. We've seen him score from this range last year. Was one of the top goals in schoolboy football last season. Probably a little bit further out. McLean setting that one. He can score from here. We need to reproduce that form. McLean fires it over. This is the difference a year can make. Not a lot of time left in this first half.
McLean picks it up again. Looking for Russell. Keeper is off his line. Saw it early. Moved well. And David Martin. And safe hands as well. Good collection. Like in tune with the game. Anticipated quite well. That's it for the first half. Kingston College with the lead. Dwayne Atkinson with the goal. His 17th this season for Casey's number 13. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been a game with a lot of goal mouth activity, Dwight? No, not, not, not at all. And uh, a few of the, that Kingston College got, they took it away, put it away. But they continued a streak of winning all the games they've played in so far. After 45 minutes, they lead Wilmer's boys by a goal to nil, courtesy of Dwayne Atkinson's strike in the 17th minute. from this Wilmer's team. That's what they were lacking in the first half, right? Most definitely. Didn't create enough other than that shot from Webster from a distance. That's stung the palm of Martin, but nothing else to show for that. That's with the throw. Tyrese Williams is there. Wanted to do a little bit better, Khalifa Richards. Mitchell turns it inside to Bernard, who tries to beat Richards. Bernard on the turf. But he continues as Mitchell trying to cut inside, but run into Richards. It's been more the same for Mitchell today as it was on the weekend where he keeps getting double team. There's a ball inside and the header from Lynch. No problems there for David Martin. That has also been a little problem for Wilmers today. Well sent long looking for Atkinson. Rivalda Mitchell has not been in the game as much I think as they would want him to be. Oops, it gets the call. To collecting that one deep. It's been a workhorse this afternoon. Pretty much a known work horse for the most part. Needs the rest of his team to step up in the second half. Cooler conditions so they can be a little bit more busy. for them is that the same condition as Kinson College team is playing in. They are a very difficult proposition. Casey with the interception couldn't deliver anything out of their own half. They'll try again. McCarthy plays it inside to Williams. Williams overrunning the ball and was fouled. Free kick to Kingston College. Just felt Williams held on a little bit too long there. Could have released the ball into that gap. Nonetheless, won himself and his team a free kick. Lewis Watson did well the last time. They had a free kick from this distance. But it's Williams. And again, McLean. Good play by Wilmers. Back to McLean. Now with Webster. Webster. 
think it was actually trying to shot there on the Webster. Definitely a shot from Webster, but good build up play from Wilmers. Here's again sending it out wide. And offside flag goes up. And that's more like what Wilmers want. Not the offside there, but the urgency and the combination play in the attacking third. If they're gonna break this Kinson College defence down and defence that stands at the top of any schoolboy team in the country this season, and they're going to have to have more of those combination quick one two passing in the final third. Hmm. What's going to happen here? Get a card is shown to Rajiv Gavin. Webster putting himself on the line there just now. He's been that type of player all, all season long. Yes, I, I, I just the defender Gavin like going over the ball. Hmm. And uh, I think the referee was right in awarding that yellow card. Just the yellow card? I think he was going for the ball and uh, got some of the ball. Maybe that's part of the reason why. Just a yellow card. No reason for the follow through, though. Because he would say the momentum took him. Good sign for Wilmers that Webster is back up and about. Surprised that he's actually not off the field. Well, that's what happens when the player that commits the infringement gets a yellow card and the player that was fouled can remain on the field. Just wanted you to highlight that. Here's a free kick yeah, for Wilmers. <laughs> Delivered inside, headed away by Atkinson, doing some defensive work. Corner kick now to Wilmer's boys. They are desperate for an equalizer. Webster. Foot got in the way. Gets another corner kick. Here's the delivery once more. Header is wide. Goal kick. Because they're almost scoring off their fourth corner of the game. Always under pressure. It's always going to be difficult to get that one on goal. Oh, well, here's a chance of Wilmers now. Trying to do the spectacular Orlando Russell. Spectacular kick. Spectacularly kicked to McCarthy's process and he was bemused on the turf. I guess he had to do because his first touch sent it up in the here. The defender put himself on the line to try and block that one. And McCarthy. Yeah, he has the bruise to prove it too, I'm sure. A kick for his effort. McCarthy. McLeod playing it back to his keeper. Martin with the clearance. McLeod needed to have tried to control that one before it hit the turf. We can see we see a little bit more sprightiness about this Wilmer's team, second half. Richards. Robinson has some space to work with. 
Cutting inside, Ronaldo Robinson. Morrison. Richards! Did this might have to make the save. Lovely strike from Richards. Hit it true. McCarthy does well. And the pass to Morrison. Jamari Morrison. Hasn't scored a goal like that in a while. Jamari Morrison. And was a step down from the shot earlier. Sting in the palm of goalkeeper Denzel Smith. That one way over. Where's the previous effort from Richards? It's comfortable light for the goalkeeper, but yeah. he still had to make the save. Yeah, yeah. Haven't seen much of Coach Bernard since the yellow card, pretty much sitting. And then again, his team is leading, so... Doesn't need to be animated at all. Not at all. He has passed over the reins to his assistant. Coach Thomas has a lot to think about as to how to break down this sturdy defence of Kingston College. Wilmers, of course, would have been coming from a loss in the Champions Cup. Yes. Uh, Going down to Clarendon College. Look legged in that game. Much yeah. better looking tonight, today. Um, but certainly looked like the effects of the game against Camperdown on the Thursday before really took its effect on them. Well, now they don't have to play it until next week, so... And it seems like it's going to be a very, very important game, that one. Wilmers against Charlie Smith. Mitchell. McCarthy. Williams cuts inside. Williams' second touch was hard. Oh, that's a vital hand from Smith. Still with KC. Morrison into the crowd. And it's kicked outside of the penalty area. Watson picks it up. Finding Richards. Richards sends it long. Looking for Ronaldo Robinson. Wilmers will clear. Only as far as McCarthy. And McCarthy pulls Ronaldo Webster to the turf. So and we'll go into the referee's book. There's a clear yellow card there for McCarthy. But a series of assaults on the Wolmer's goal and the goalkeeper is down in Smith. And so too went down Ronaldo Webster. Courtesy of Demara McCarthy's indiscretion. And we've seen that challenge in another form of football, American football. In the rugby union as well. <laughs> it's a beautiful play there. Good first touch to cut inside the defender. Did Robinson. And what I'm seeing here is as much as Wilma has stepped up the pace a little bit and getting a little bit more sprightly and, and showing some more urgency, it seems like Kinson College can just change a gear. Certainly looks that way. So we're getting some attention. And he has pretty much been in the firing line this evening. First goal there that we still are the only goal of the game. You know, Watson's shot initially saved by Smith. The quick to re respond was Atkinson, his 17th goal of the season in the 17th minute of this game.
And this game punctuated by the referee's whistle. Wilma still seeking that equalizer. Haven't seen the best of them. The attacking third. This one is swung inside looking for Webster. And now here's Williams. Couldn't get by Thompson. Atkinson picks it up. Delightful ball. Ronaldo Robinson though can't get there. There was a deflection from that attempted pass from Atkinson. As Wilmers chase this one, then it'll become more open. And Kingston College hitting on the counter. There was as much as five to six Wilmers players in attack. But once it broke, Kingston College did so with pace. Here's the corner kick with Tate headed away at the near post. So the chance Atkinson tried to win the header and committed the foul. And guess who again was in there? Ronaldo Webster. Trying to do it at both ends of the pitch here. Allen was clipped. Almost so short by McLean. Pass didn't have enough weight for McLean. Invited the challenge. We see late, but seventeen fouls committed by Kingston College. I guess they can be slick, but they can be robust. I get the impression that they they knew Wilmers were a skillful unit. So it's showing that they can be a difficult team to beat this Jamaican this Kingston College team because they need to be slick they can if they need to disrupt the opponent. They have it in their locker. Atkinson. Corner kick. Christopher Matthews putting that one behind for the corner to KC. That section of the crowd quite pleased what they've seen so far. It's still a close one and Kinson College certainly has not put this one to bed. And rumors will feel they just need one good chance in this. We heard their assistant coach saying if they get a draw, they would still be pleased with the outcome. Watson delivers at the back post. Kevin was there, didn't reach him. Webster couldn't get that up towards the halfway line. McLeod getting his keeper involved. McLean to Webster. Akete, almost. Mm, you see what he was trying to do there, just didn't get a hold of it. And he did, and he would have certainly dismissed the defender. He's trying to hook it and throw it back over the head of the defender, didn't come off. That's a foul. Oh, McLean lost it. Williams decides to take a snapshot. Kiko was a little off his line, and that shows good awareness from Williams. Still looking for his 10th goal this season, centre forward. Still a decent return, just over and on. The teacher went on the brink of double figures. Just 16 years old. Actually, Tyrese Williams. Corner kick now to Woolmer's boys. Suggesting there that Kingston College, his uh, forward line or attacking prowess is in good hands. This one flipped in and headed away. 
Sheen trying to nod that one out wide. There's a ball that comes in. And Martin comes out. And sends it long. Morrison sprinting, trying to win it, and does. Good work. It's pretty much the theme of this second half. Crowd not live, came the fact that the throw went to Bulmers. And then you know which section of the crowd is that, showing their displeasure in the official's decision to give Bulmers the throw, throw in. But which was the theme of the second half where Bulmers looking to overcome commit going forward and Kingston College hitting on the counter. A red card is now being shown to Lewis Watson, the assistant coach. So he didn't do better than Bernard, who had passed over the reins to him. And he should have taken the cue that this referee is not in the mood. To be dictated to and the new rule that has been rolled out in this competition this season referee not obliged to as previously seen in the past warn coaches well he will miss the next game or oh, certainly can't be on the bench against uh, Camperdown To sure everything coming out of the mouth of Bernard going forward now will be instructions to his team. Nothing at this referee. Is there a handle ball there? Yes, it was. Well, the crowd can't have their cake and eat it too. They are crying for the handle ball and then. And it did come. <laughs> they, they cried for the advantage not being taken. Definitely handball and away from the body. There's a free kick sent inside. Atkinson, oh my word. Probably that was his easiest chance this season. And he did more of a defender's job on that occasion. For once his compass was not aligned properly. Casey's still with it. Atkinson. Oh, delightful ball to Williams who missed kicks. I think credit has to, had to, has to go to Makati there. Makati, he really did well. Just his presence put off. Williams on that occasion. The ball into Williams. Markins are just a beauty. Matthews. Hmm. Casey may be making a change soon. And the challenge from McCarthy has to be careful, he's on a yellow card. Tyrus Williams is going to be taken out.
Matthew Bell is calling his turn. Five goals to his name so far for Matthew Bell. And the other 21 is kicking out of the game now. Javier Lynch coming out for Wilmers. Didn't get much joy today as a striker for Wilmers in this last 19 or so minutes. Rajol Bins is now on for the Wilmers team. Some fresh legs on for Wilmers in this last 19 or so minutes. Watson sends this one long and over the top. Just to confirm that Baines has come on for Lynch. There's still time in this one for Wilmers to get back in it. Meanwhile, Casey's change was Bell coming on for Williams. Challenge coming in against Bell. Or rather, Mitchell, sorry, for Wilmers. He has been kept in check all yeah, game has. long. Pretty much a quiet game. They're pretty much having under the couch all game long, not being able to be the antagonist that we know he has come to be this season. Bernard sends this one inside, free header for Ronaldo Webster! What a time to complete such a run! Wilmers, they are back leveling this one against Kingston College because Webster has got his 17th this season. It just had to be Webster all game long. He has been all over the park. Beautiful delivery into the box. And he rose above the two defenders. McCarthy, who has had a good game. Beautiful ball into the box. And we've seen it when he was at Stets. And he continues that here for Wilmers. Just as he left over that advertising board he rose to the occasion and Webster who has been doing it at both ends of the park today certainly got his reward at the right end of the park just reward two just reward two goal number 17 for Webster their first sniff at goal first real sniff at goal and it was their talisman who came up trumps. We did say that there was time in this one still for Wilmers because Kingston College just did not put this one away with all the opportunities they've gotten. Khalifa Richards is off for Wilmers. And Christopher Pearson is on. I should say for, for Kingston College rather. Khalifa Richards off for KC. 
Christopher Pearson is on. We did talk about him earlier, uh, having seen Bradford do what he did earlier in the game that you felt someone like Webster would have stepped up. Pearson loses his first touch and Webster threads it through. The shot is blocked. Shot came in from Baines, who has just come on the park. He did say that this would have been the ultimate test for Kingston College, looking to drop their first point of the season in all competition. Webster trying to sneak that one in. Mitchell provided the block. Webster will collect. Mitchell there for company. Rivaldo Mitchell. I wonder if that goal from Webster will spur him into life because he has been pretty much quiet. Webster showing his worth, carrying this Wilmers team on his back today and getting a crowd for Wilmers. McLean couldn't get by Atkinson, who does well defensively. Atkinson with the ball now, seeking to provide the ball. And Atkinson got a knock to his face. The other card will come out. The substitute gets in the yellow card. Mm -hmm. It's Bell. Sorry, no, not Bell. No, it's... Is it Maketi? Yeah. Sorry, Maketi. Maketi, not, not the sub. Wilmers must be wary. They cannot for one minute think that they have gotten a point from this one. And Jamar Morrison is behind this one for Kingston College. Wilmers have set up shop on the edge of the box with their wall. Denzel Smith just positioning it. Pearson and, and Pearson and, and Thompson there being worn by the referee. They should know that it's a no-nonsense referee, having seen him evict the assistant coach from Kingston College. Here's a free kick for Kingston College. Morrison with a three-man ward in front of him. What will he do? But I'm stunned. Didn't expect that. You've come to expect some good quality from this Kingston College team. And that one was way off. If he would, all the players that they'd commit forward just now, he would have served it with defenders running just in the space behind the line of players so that the defenders would be running back to their goal and attackers attack him. He went for glory as he saw his name in, in light. Well, he ended up aiming for the lights. Webster. One must say, win it back. Bernard dinks it over. Baines. Baines. Predictable, wasn't it? Very, and he wasn't doing himself any justice when he tried and go. To his right, because that was always going to reduce the sight of gold. Morrison. Atkinson also working overtime for Kingston College. 
sort of have an idea looking as if he's going to just another move. Well, that didn't go too far. Robinson tried to win it for KC, headed away, picked up by Pearson, couldn't control it though. Woolmers with it, Baines. Webster, Baines. Shannon's coming in. That looked like there was a free kick in it at first. Scott McLeod did enough. The hands are not too much at the same time, apparently. <laughs> exactly. At least in the eyes of the referee and his assistant. But suddenly we see Wilmers winning the second balls. First to the loose balls. Ronaldo Webster on it. Blair stood up well. Morrison couldn't control. Matthews getting a toe in. Rivaldo Mitchell turning and shooting wide. He has certainly been involved more in the last five minutes than he has been in the first 75 minutes of this one. He still have 10 minutes where he could just make his mark. He has really put in a shift, Webster. Topped off with that brilliant header to get Wilmers back in this one. Pretty close between him and Dwayne Atkinson as to who will be the MVP, Dwight. So much so, I guess in the scheme of things, the fact that he has gotten a goal and he has really been putting in a shift at both ends. Which one? He may be ahead for me right now in Webster. Oh, Webster. <laughs> but because you could say the same about Atkinson. Can't keep that one in. Go okay. kick. And then in the manner at which he has done it today too, Webster, and the fact that he has not had as much help from his teammates as Atkinson has had from his set of teammates, that might too also be in the balance for him. But I still think, based on the way this game has gone, with still eight minutes to go, we might be a little bit premature in, talk, in talking about that. Still enough time for someone to affect this one. Ronaldo Rob is it Ronaldo Robinson's going to be taken out? No. It's a key, it's a Wilmer's change. It's a Lander Russell is going to be taken out. Didn't really have a game to remember, Orlando Russell. No, not quite. It wasn't his day today. Is it Kamaja James has come on? Yep, it is Kamaja James. Too much. Just confirmed that James came on for Russell. Clear. And Rafty. Room is really into it in the second half. Webster. Wasn't accurate the ball to Mitchell, but his team still has a throw. Because the teams have finally got through to them. Half time they said they wanted more strength, more fight, more urgency. Took a while in coming in the second half, but finally arrived. And certainly Webster's goals goal would have helped. Theodore yeah, Whitmore is in the house. And the national coach for the Jamaica team, of course. See the men's team that is. McLean showed his challenger a bit too much there. Doing that and doing enough. <laughs> and a little bit more, apparently. I think he used his hands in that, on that occasion. Couldn't keep his balance, Morrison.
Kitsy. Causing the infringement there. Is it Tiana Anacondas or? Not, not by my right. Mm. Mitchell being substituted here for Woodmans. David Coombs is on for Rivaldo Mitchell. This one sent inside the box. Atkinson with Richard Hedda and the follow-up is over the ball. Desperate to get a second in this one. And how so much his team would certainly love for him to have done so. Clearly really didn't get the header on it. Just fell a little bit behind him. Rumors to cough Mitchell sums up his day. Well, that was fabulous acting there from Baines. <laughs> Certainly, the contact wasn't worth the scream that we heard. that he's been watching most of the pros. Coombs. I think Coombs is going to serve Wilma as well at this stage of the game. The strength being able to hold up the ball. into perspective because before today PC was not just unbeaten but perfect in every competition and winning their every game they played. Oh Atkinson nice move gets the return ball Atkinson in the middle is Robinson just ahead of Robinson it's now with Morrison and it's hacked out of the area Beautiful work there from Atkinson. Drove past a number of defenders and got a very good ball into the box. I did say it was premature for us to be discussing the man of the match. Well, we just have about three minutes remaining. Based on the talent, I'm sure someone still could yet claim it. But please. Foul from Gavin. But if he were the number of chances in this game, um, Wilmer has pretty much has scored with the best chance they've gotten and probably one of the few, the Kingston College would have gotten a number of opportunities. Yeah, they would have. They would have. And they probably would be ruining their missed chances. Because Wilmer would be really confident heading into that last match against Charlie Smith. KC, they have a tough proposition in, camp, in Camper on High. We still believe they have a life in this competition. Oh, well, sir, they don't get a yellow card like that. I would stop arguing with the referee now, sir. I don't think you'll be getting a lot of handshakes at the end of the game, the referee. <laughs> Unless a team to win it, they might just forget about all that he has done. I've seen that in football. Pretty much everything for Webster today. Yellow card, goal. Kicks. Yes, and kicking others as well. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a player that you want on your team. 
I'll tell you what this tits. <laughs> they might just be moving down. I'm not this the arm. I'm not focused into the semi-finals of the past the cup states. Fort official indicating a minimum of four minutes. So still time for one of these two teams to win it. Is there another goal in this contest? Coombs tried to move from Gavin and went it back illegally according to the referee. The women's bench not liking it, but it looks a clear push, shove. Well, they may be pointing just as they have a throw now. And quickly they calm down. A whole lot in it, but yeah. once you press your hand like that on a defender who is facing his goal, the referee is going to be obliged to give a free kick. A kick with a throw. Ball sent inside, headed up by Scott McLeod. Now it's going to be Casey's turn to try and do something. With about three minutes to go in stoppage time. Can they get a winner? They will be so much more comfortable with the three points here. I was just about to say, Donald, that if there's ever someone that could be more satisfied or feel like a winner with a draw, you feel in this game it would be Wilmers. So we get to Wilmers. Now the Casey contingent not liking the call. <laughs> the life of a referee. Because they see when that occurs, then the referee is doing a good job. <laughs> Both said so. Well, I'm, I'm not sure who said that. Must have been a referee. <laughs> you got that one right. Bates got to return ball. Pulls it across. There's nobody there in Maroon. Baines wins it back. Baines still with it. Tough. Trying to shuffle it across to Webster. Couldn't reach him. Throw in. Taken by Matthews. I think a draw here for Wilmers will really get their stock. Oh, yeah. Send their stock up. They would be favorites to go through to the semis. And possibly to go all the way because Kinston College has been installed as tournament favorites. And for them to have matched them here. Certainly get people looking at them. Well, look at it this way. The scoreline remains the same. And if both these teams continue winning their matches in the Manning Cup, they will meet in the final. Most definitely, because they will not meet in the semis, right? <laughs> Coming from the same quarterfinal group. But for sure, quite capable of these two teams today from what we've seen on show. The Wilmers did come into this game as the most prolific team in schoolboy football with 62 goals at Kingston College. Not shy himself with 52. And the meanest defense. Here's Casey. Could this be the last chance for them? Morrison twisting and turning, finding McCarthy. McCarthy gives it up. Hasn't had the best game since he's been on the park. Damari McCarthy. Now here's Bernard. Wilmer's looking for the killer. Bernard with it still. Yeah. They give it up too easily. Doesn't matter. They share the spoils. This quarterfinal group is pretty much still neck and neck. The top two teams, these two teams. Wilmer's and Kingston College. Webster putting in an MVP performance in the game today. Leading his team from all fronts in defense in the middle of the park and in front after Dwayne Atkinson had opened the scoring for Kingston College. 
a workmanlike performance, but we must all smile with the fact that they have Charlie Smith as the last remaining game in this quarterfinal group. They would consider themselves to be favourites heading into the semi-finals of the Manning Cup should they beat Charlie Smith, of course. Kingston College, they have a tough proposition next against Camperdown. At the end of 90 minutes, though, in this one, it's Kingston College 1. Wilmer's Boys 1. As we take another goal, there are two of them. It seemed like a long time ago when Lewis Watson fired that one in. And then Atkinson with a rebound. Denzel Smith had a strong hand on it, but couldn't really power it around the post. And Atkinson was there to pounce. And he got his 17th goal this season. Webster will get his 17th as well, rising high on the edge of the six-yard box and placing that class goalkeeper, David Martin. That was equalizer. A well-earned goal for the MVP. Goalkeeper came there and was caught in no man's land. Kings and College with 10 shots, five of which were on target. Women's boys with eight shots, three of which were on target. This was a very physical game. KC with 20 fouls. Women's boys with 12. Four year cards were issued a piece, and the one red card was shown to the KC assistant uh, coach, uh, Raymond Watson. Five corner kicks to Kingston College, six corner kicks to Women's boys, and it was pretty much 50 50 as far as position was concerned. The scoreline, pretty even there, 1-1 one, one between KC and Wilmer's boys. And I'm with our MVP, Ronaldo Webster of Wilmer's boys. Congratulations. Between the Dakasa Cup and the Manning Cup, how many of these have I given you? Um, you gave me five in the Dakasa Cup and two. This is, making, this is making my second in the Manning Cup. So you've had a total of seven MVP performances over two years. Great performance from you today. How important was it that you helped to put uh, Wilmers in this position going into the final game of this round? Well, um, this is an important game. To get a, to go, come in this game and get a point, it is, it is very important because we are going into Charles Smith game um, and getting the goal so we can come out on top and go defense. So this is an important point for us. Were you getting a little bit frustrated on the pitch? Well, yes, because referee was against us in a bit. So, yeah. Keep it calm, Ronaldo. Yeah, I will. All right, congratulations. And happy birthday. Thank you, Ronaldo. Our MVP today, Ronaldo Webster of Wilmer's Boys. Joining me now is Ludlow Bernard, head coach at Kingston College. Ludlow, I know the lights are affecting your eyes. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. But this is the first time this season Kingston College has dropped points. Uh, disappointed today? <clears throat> Not necessarily. We didn't want to lose this game. Um, we, we we are struggling a little bit in a particular area, and I think the boys did very well today. We should be okay for the next game. But um, a point is well deserved for both teams. Both teams gave it all. Good to see the students on the other side, you know, doing a good job over there. But all in all, I think it was a grand effort under the circumstances. Now, you were yellow carded, and Raymond Watson was red carded. Why? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, just a little um, miss up there, so to speak. What happened is that I wanted to get a better view of the pitch, and um, I went on the bench, you know, so the referee kept, kept, kept nagging away. So I probably lasted for a, a few. I'm going to tell you to keep it calm as well. Um, now you're up against Camperdown in your yeah. final game this season. Tough task? Yeah, man, definitely. They've been playing well, and I've been observing them. You know, they really moved the ball around pretty well. And thing, but I think there are some weaknesses which probably I think we can exploit. I was kind of disappointed that we can't see the goal because I was always confident of my defense. But I guess it happens. It's a, this is the first goal that has been scored on young David in two years, so I can't afford it. Okay, and I know I just said uh, your last game of the season, I apologize for that. That was very presumptuous. <laughs> Thank you so much, coach. Thank you every time for your time. Yeah. All right, Ludlow Bernard, their head coach at Kingston College. Sean Fraser is the assistant coach at Wilmer's Boys. Sean, considering the circumstances tonight, do you think a draw is a deserving result for Wilmer's? Yeah, definitely, because we started slow, as usual. Uh, we picked up in the game, but I think both teams play well. You mentioned starting slow. 
as usual. Is that a concern for Wilma's boys? Yeah, going forward, definitely, because you can't go start doing the semifinals because you don't have a second leg. You know, games like these, you have to always on your toes, ready to play. But um, our boys did well to come back from one goal. It was a tough match and, you know, praise the student. And do you think you're at a better advantage in the, in the final game against Charlie Smith? No. The ball is wrong, 11 v 11. Amen to that. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Sean Fraser there, assistant coach at Wilmer's Boys. Let's take a look at the table after tonight's results. So we have Kingston College and Wilmer's Boys at the top of the table on four points. Of course, they played two games, one win and a draw. Camperdown is right behind them on three points. Charlie Smith on six.